What is up, everybody? So today I wanted to talk about something that, you know, obviously you'll see with the intro. It's going to be about these Stax Rocks. It's one of those things that came out of uh, the brilliant mind of that balding genius, Julian Sprung. And, you know, I'm really, not, I'm really surprised that more people aren't using these rocks. One, you can make, you know, pretty much any aquascape you want. It's not, you know, a factor depending on how the rock looks. You can, there are like little bits you can just stack on top of each other. You can make really any rockscape you want to look to, uh, you want it to look like. Uh, what you'll see later, I'll show you a little bit of my tank that's made out of stacks rocks. And you know, there's just so many pros with these rocks that, like I said, I'm really surprised more people aren't using them. Besides being able to aquascape this however you'd like, you know, it's perfect for your actual reef inhabitants. Alright, first off, no matter how you arrange them, they're not going to be a perfect fit. So you always have cracks, you know, um, in odd little areas that are perfect for, you know, like your little jawfish or your gobies, your pistol shrimp, just kind of dig around and make a home. Right? So they don't fit perfectly, so you know, you'll always have like these little spots right here and like right there for example, you know, where the gobies can go inside, they can kind of make their own nice little home. And you know, you can stack these in a sort of way where it'll make your, um, it'll make your gobies and your pistol strip more visible. You know, there's nothing worse than getting that, you know, that beautiful Yashigobi and uh, pistol strip pair. Uh, you know, that it's always popping in their head to, in and out if they're facing, you know, on the back end of a tank where you can't even see them. The second thing I want to talk about, which is probably, you know, the biggest reason that I like these rocks, is uh, their ability to keep anemones in place. And what I mean by that is when you have these rocks all together, uh, you know, stacked up and glued in, Really, there are, you know, they make the perfect spot for these enemies to kind of hang their foot and stay. So here we are at my tank. I just want to give you guys a good look at what these stack rocks kind of all look like when they're put together. Once you get a lot of coralline on them, you really can't tell, you know, that they weren't one piece before. And then, like I was saying about the anemones, like this one right here, you know, since I put it there, it has not moved. Not the once. You know, and for the other Stax rocks, which I have here, you also see that anemone on the right. I placed it there, it also didn't move. So if I actually just go ahead and annoy it, you notice that it's hidden underneath the rock. Ain't that cool? Yeah, just like they like it. So it's right underneath, their foot is hidden right beneath the rock itself. So they don't have to worry about anything. That goes for the same one. If I kind of just bother that one a little bit. This one's not as afraid. You'll see that its foot is also underneath. And you know, you get to kind of put them however you like. You know, and with these stacks rocks, you know, you can build your own, if it focuses, you can build your own tunnels. You know, it goes straight through right down here pops up open on the other end. You know, with these stacks rock, it really is the perfect place to put an enemy. No matter how much I pit this thing out, I've been trying to move it for months because it started to sting these little A-cans right here. It will not move. And, you know, I kind of really, I could move these Akins, but I prefer not to. If I, you know, if I can. <laughs> I 
Yeah, once you glue them all together, you get a little coralline growth on them. It's really hard to tell that they used to be more than, you know, one large piece. And then you can really shape them however you like. So you'll see there's another hole right there. There's the one right there. And then it goes straight up. And then there's a connecting pillar right here where you'll see all my little hammers and frog spawns just kind of hanging over. So yeah guys, if you like this video, please like, comment, um, subscribe. I um, just looked at it, I got two subscribers. That's really more than I thought I would ever have. Uh, this is kind of just, you know, something fun to do for 2019. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.